Hi, welcome to another Acid Pro tutorial with DJ Mark Armand. This one is a very quick one, two minutes tops, and it's how to create a crescendo type effect. That's that you hear in a lot of dance music where you have that snare drum that gets repeated. We're also going to show you how you can probably use it to do a quick remix. I've loaded on a track onto the timeline. Let me just drag that out so you can see it. Now, looking at the waveform, if we play this, you'll see that here it changes. Okay, let me just play this. Okay, now you can see it loses its beat all along here before it eventually kicks in with a bass and snare. I want to get rid of all of that area there. Just drag this back. And I'm going to zoom in because I can't see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to use my little plus button down the bottom right here and just click on that to zoom in. So basically I can see where the actual beats are. So I'm just going to click my mouse over here and just press the space bar. Okay, so there we got this drum beat just there. So I want to bring this back, so I just grab the end of it and bring it back and it snaps to that grid line there. And this is where I want my crescendo to be. So what I need to do is to right click on this sample here. So right click on the sample and you'll see there's an option called select in chopper. Now this tool allows me to select parts of a sample and chop it about basically. If we click on that, down the bottom you'll notice it opens up the full sample in there. Now I'm just interested in this beat here. So I'm just going to click my mouse down there and again zooming in by clicking on the plus here. There you can see here is that beat there. I've clicked at the end of this sample because that's why I want the crescendo to start. We then come down to here and highlight the part of the beat that we want. So I'm just clicking and dragging across the beat that we want to repeat. If we just play that, yep that's okay. Here we've got a button called insert. I'm just going to click on that and you'll see that every time I click, look at the timeline, it's putting a copy of what I've got selected here, up here. I'll do one more, so I've got four of those being repeated. Now, I then want to create the crescendo effect, the repeat effect. I need half of that sample. Now, if you look at these buttons along here, there's two buttons. One of them is called Halve Selection. The other one is called Double Selection. We want to halve it, so just click on this. What this does, it saves me having to mess around trying to work out where the half point is. So just click on that button. It halves the sample. I can then click on the Insert button. Watch what happens to the timeline. Every time I click, it puts those on. I click on the half button again and choose insert, click on the half button again and choose insert and you'll see that it's putting half of the selection each time and I think that'll do but you get the idea. Now from this point what I want is to start after that break. So I'm going to zoom out for this so I can see more of the track. There it is there. So that's the thing we want to get rid of. And it kicks in back up here. So let's just get rid of that. Bring this across. Now I can then just do that. I am going to zoom in again. I do like to zoom in so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Now. I think that's where the beat starts, so we'll put that there. Uh, 
and that's a very quick tutorial on how to do a little bit of remixing but more importantly how to create those crescendo repeat effects hope that helps any questions leave comments enjoy <laughs>